you know, back in the eighties, there was this song that I used to listen to. And every so often you might hear it still on the radio by the band REM band from Athens, Georgia, Georgia ground zero for corruption 2020. Anyway, that band REM and their song, it's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. Kind of a whimsical, sort of sarcastic, and somewhat passive aggressive comment on how things were really going, maybe, in someone's life at the time, maybe uh, the songwriter. Uh, I'm in that camp for sure. Um, I've already told folks, you know, hey, I'm kind of a moody SOB. And I apologize to a few of the folks out there who um, saw me going in one direction and I went back in another direction. And the, the channel basically has had no direction, okay? Because <laughs> um, this is hence, you know, the name which I've settled back to. Um, floating aimlessly, being a refugee and just looking for some, looking for something to grab onto, you know, whether it's a, a libertarian perspective, a populist pr perspective, a conservative, a Republican perspective, even a green perspective. For a while, I was cheering the greenies on and um, that was just a reaction to everything else. You kind of look around and you say, well, what's left? Obviously, I got to mention Tulsi Gabbard. Um, for those of you who think I'm just leaning on Tulsi as a crutch, well, I like Tulsi. And, you know, when she says something good, I'll talk about it. Uh, when she says something bad, uh, I'll change the name of my channel, for crying out loud, and I'll enjoy doing it. Look, uh, it's been a long year. And I got nothing. I got nothing left in my arsenal. I am plumb out of bullets. And um, politically speaking, you know, what matters this year? What matters? You've seen the whole thing just crumble. You've seen things that you never thought you would see. And you're going to see more. You know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I can almost guarantee you, you're going to see more and it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse and people are going to get hurt. Maybe physically, maybe emotionally. Um, these lockdowns, which, you know, I don't like talking about too much because some people think, hey, where is a public health issue? You need to lock people up. No, this is a liberty issue and you need to free people up. The only reason I don't go full, full on libertarian is because I look at the world and I say, if you're playing an unfair game, you have to play on their level. And until that game is corrected, you can't play it the way it's supposed to be played. You can't bring ideas forward like self-reliance or hard work or self-determination or my body, my choice. Remember that one? That apparently only applies to quote unquote reproductive health, but it does not apply to not taking a vaccine or not believing that a piece of cloth is going to do any good when it comes to fighting a pesky virus. I'm very skeptical. I've always been skeptical. And when somebody tells me to zig, I tend to zag. I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. It's not my intent. And I don't, by the way, I don't mean to just be communicating through videos to others. If you want to reach out to me and talk to me, there's a way to do it. There are links. You can find me. Patreon, Twitter. Yeah, I'm back on Twitter. Uh, I'm on Twitter as myself. I don't know why Twitter even allowed me to have another account, but I'm there. I had 1,100 subscribers or something. 
because a lot of those people that I was following or were following me, I didn't like their, their politics. I had drifted to a different place. I was more to the right, more libertarian, more free market, more freedom, uh, more love of country even, which I know is difficult for some people that they just hate. They're wound up and they just hate. All I can say is, you know, um, embrace your family. Get close to the people who you love and who those people who love you, because if you're going to get through this, you're going to need, you know, I hate to quote Nicolette Larson here, but it's going to take a lot of love. You know, actually, it's Neil Young. He wrote the song for her. Well, it's going to take a lot of love to make this work out because otherwise, you know, there's going to be a flood of, of never ending anger and hatred and so forth. And 2020, whether it be people shooting at each other, cops getting hit, people of color getting hit, the news media and their agenda, which is basically to make us all hate each other. That doesn't sound like goodwill and peace on earth. I grew up, it was a Charlie Brown Christmas. You know what I mean? Charlie Brown trying to kick the football and falling on his butt. I grew up in a different time. I grew up when Christmas meant something. It wasn't just a flat screen TV at Walmart. Nope. And I miss those days. I want to go back there. I want people to, you know, just be cordial, be decent. I know there are places in the United States where people do treat one another with respect. But if you turn on the TV or if you browse on social media, you ain't going to see that. You know what you're going to see? You're going to see a big melee like a big brawl, like a bench clearing brawl where all the players come off the benches and it's pig pile on the guy who got hit with the ball or the pitcher that did the hitting or if it's hockey, it's basically anything. <laughs> Could be anything in a hockey game. But that's, that's what we're looking at right now. You got people on the right who are armed to the teeth. You got people, crazy people on the left who are like the weather underground. You know, they're just plotting and planning. And every day they find a way to throw a wrench in to something that was completely innocent and normal just a few years ago, like eating dinner somewhere with your spouse. Now, in the next 20 to 30 days, you know, I think things are going to get worse no matter what happens. And, you know, I'm obviously leaning toward accepting and understanding that the corpse will be the president. The corpse is going to be sworn in. By who and by what? And if they're using a Bible, then that Bible might just combust. It might just burst into flames right after that. I don't know. I, I just, you would think there would be some level of decency, but there isn't. There isn't. We are in a new place. And uh, it's by all means necessary, by any means. Uh, gone are the days where you could debate your fellow Americans with ideas and logic. Why is that, by the way? How come we can't even see certain opinions anymore on these social media sites? And not only just opinions, but what about like actual facts? What about like peer review studies? What about a sample size of 800 people to reference a video that recently got deleted from my platform? 800 people over here? All of them doing great. They didn't get they didn't get the prescribed CDC um, 
recommendation. I'm just trying to be really careful with the words here. So anyway, um, I hope everybody has a, a Merry Christmas, and I hope sincerely that there's a way to have a Happy New Year. Um, my guess is each day is going to be more drama and more chaos and more craziness. And to my friends who've either been on this channel or have left me because I'm too just screwed up, I get it. But, you know, there was no ill will. There's no malice toward anybody. Everybody's got their niche. Um, you know, I appreciate the friendship when, you know, things were going well. And uh, I, I still hope to have friendship with uh, some of the folks that I've worked with in the past. But um, I don't know. I I'm not that important here on YouTube or any platform. You know where I'm important, I am important, is at home. I got a bunch of kids here and I got a great wife. Um, and I've had a lot of blessings this year. I had a great family reunion for Thanksgiving, which was epic for all the bad things that happened in 2020. By the way, um, there was traveling that happened, even though Dr. Fauci said not to travel. And they'll be traveling again for Christmas, I'm sorry to say. Wish everybody out there a happy, merry Christmas. And we'll see what happens. For now, just love the people that you can love. And that's it. <laughs>